guys, welcome to Cook to Nourish. Today I'm going to share um, an AIP cookie recipe. This actually, is, this recipe is not my original recipe. This is a recipe that is on unboundwellness.com. So it's um, Michelle Hoover's recipe. Um, and she uses tiger nut flour and, um, um, and uh, tapioca flour to make this. Um, I have tried a couple different modifications for that. So I'll share that. Uh, but it's a great recipe um, and I also I'll, I'll show you what I use for chocolate chip I use my own chocolate bar um, that I have already posted a recipe for um, and that I chop it up and use that as chocolate chunks in this cookie and I'll also show you another option that I use sometimes uh, but this is AIP and it's great as you can see it comes out really fabulous um, the recipe original recipe uses coconut oil but i have tried even palm shortening um, and both uh, work wonderfully well in this recipe so we start by taking one cup of tiger nut flour and as you can see it has some lumps in it and we'll we'll try to break them up later by sieving them and then you need one fourth cup of tapioca flour okay or tapioca starch this is not cassava this is tapioca flour that's one fourth cup just kind of loosely mix it and then adding about a tea eighth teaspoon of sea salt and about an eighth teaspoon of baking soda as well and then I'm going to just lightly mix these oh uh, yeah also need another dry ingredient that's actually gelatin that's one tablespoon of gelatin powder as you can see I'm using the red box for the Great Lakes brand You can use any other uh, brand also gelatin but make sure it's grass-fed gelatin to be paleo and AIP and I'm using this sieve just because my, the tiger uh, tiger flour or uh, tiger nut flour that I'm using uh, has a uh, lumps so I'm just trying to break those up and this way it also helps to mix all the dry ingredients really well so you don't absolutely need to do it but I just like to do it so that way you know I can break all the lumps and that's it that's we have our dry mixture ready now uh, we need about one third cup of coconut oil or palm shortening melted so whatever um, fat you're using melted before measuring so I have made this recipe using both both coconut oil as well as palm shortening and they turn out well then I'm adding now I added a one table one teaspoon of vanilla extract and for maple syrup the recipe you know the original recipe says one fourth cup of maple syrup but I add only three tablespoons because I do not like to you know I do not like my chocolate chip cookies to be really sweet because the, there are also chocolate chips in them so I like the you know sweetness to be a little less so I only add three tablespoons so that those are like some of my slight variations I add three tablespoons of maple syrup and then I add a little bit more vanilla extract than the original recipe I add one teaspoon of vanilla extract uh, and other than that I have used it with palm shortening uh, as I'm showing you now this is with palm shortening and then for the chocolate chip part I use my homemade chocolate uh, AIP chocolate the video for which you will find and I'm, I'll post a link so I just then you know chop the, that up into chunks to use as chocolate chunks another option is to use uh, which I have tried as well is this paleo valley superfood cho dark chocolate bar and I have used that as well I have tried this recipe a couple different times now and I have used different options so that's why I wanted to mention all the different options to you so you can uh, these chunks also work well 
So that's our mixture and then what I like to do is just you know divide it into small balls. This dough makes about eight cookies and then I just like to plant um, you know two to three big chocolate chunks into that. Uh, you know so that's how I like to do it but if you want more chocolate chips or chunks in your um, cook, uh, cookie you can mix them beforehand into the dough and then you know so then that way you you will have a uniform number of chocolate chips but I just like to um, have a few like two or three per cookie and so I just like to do it this way now if you are using coconut oil instead of palm shortening then your dough will be a little more soft and loose now I have about eight these will bake at 375 for about 10 minutes and see how they look this is how they look when you use palm shortening let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes super important and see that this these cookies have come out perfectly you know crisp on the outside and like nice and soft in the inside this is how it looks and this is the version with coconut oil which is slightly more flatter as you can see uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you